Creation as Contingent Christian faith has always affirmed a doctrine of creation out of nothing. If this is the case, it means that creation is something that is, that is other than God, but that is dependent on God. Further, this creation might have been different. Why could God not have created in a different manner than he did? Why could not the laws of nature have been different? There is no reason to assume that things might not have been different. Further, there is no reason to assume that the creation had to be at all. God was able to choose not to create. This is very important. God's choice to create was just that, a choice. It was chosen freely and out of God's good pleasure, not because he had to do it, but because he chose to do so. Since creation was brought into existence by a single God, though this one God is a community of persons, there is one overarching order. Since creation is not necessary, it cannot be explained exclusively by logical and deductive reasoning. Since creation is not an illusion, it actually can be explored and tested to obtain actual, if partial, information about it. Since God and creation are not identical, theology and natural science are not identical and need to be separate, even if they are in dialogue with one another. Finally, the contingent nature of creation affirms that we cannot make an overly strong link between creation and creator. The relationship between God as creator and creation is external to God. It is not part of who God is, as fatherhood is. These basic ideas, which are found in the Judeo-Christian and primarily Christian tradition, are the basis of all natural science, which will be explored a bit below.